All right, guys, let's go ahead and do the unboxing of the Logitech MX Master 2S. All right, and then on the front cover, it's got that same kind of magnet type of enclosure on the front. And then it's just got the general, you know, general information here on the front here. And then on the side, just saying dual connectivity with the unifying uh, receiver and then easy switch between three. All right, and then on the back, we got our just showing like Windows compatible, Mac OS compatible. All right, and then this side, just some general product information. And the bottom is pretty much the same, system requirements, that type of thing. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. There's the mouse to be. All right. And you can see my reflection. That's kind of cool. All right. Um, so yeah, you can see the receiver there, the mouse, just some general information here on the left-hand side. All right, let's get this thing open. All right, I have to grab my knife real quick. Bam. All right. It's a big blade. I got to be careful. So let's get this thing open here. All right, let's get this out. We gotta make sure we close that. Don't wanna hurt ourselves on the little blame there. All right, so we got our documentation. Uh, I don't really want this. Luna, you want that? No, she doesn't want that. All right, we'll just set that aside there. All right, so we got our USB cable so we can charge, charge the batteries and all that. All right, now let's get this thing open. <clears throat> got the little unifying receiver that's in there pretty good so let's get the mouse out first all right so it's got the same general kind of design as the other one like the mosaic pattern by the thumbs and everything got the sticker here it's just like a quick little quick reference guide um, for getting it started basically if you're hooking up bluetooth you know it works works pretty well it's pretty simple if you've ever used bluetooth so and that was extremely satisfying to pull that off there. All right, that was good. All right, now we can get the receiver out. All right, and this is more or less, you got a desktop or something. Oh, oh, hold up, sorry. Dog almost just took all my stuff out. All right, sorry about that. Uh, all right, so we got our Logitech logo on the old little receiver there. All right, throw that over there. All right, and that's pretty much it for the inside of this thing. Let's see if there's anything else I missed. Nope, nope, everything's out. All right, I'm just gonna put this back together and give this a little toss over there. Hey, what's up, guys? I hope I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't go too much into detail as to like where the buttons and everything are at on this thing. Um, and then also some of the other stuff. I'll do a, a follow-up a little bit later. I'll show like some of the software install. I had done the software install and I had the video, but it didn't look very good. I was actually doing it on my 4K TV upstairs with my MacBook hook up to it. Unfortunately, the, the, just the, the overall picture came in very fuzzy and it didn't look very good. So I kind of cut that out for now. Uh, I will do a follow-up and just kind of a, a quick um, install of the software, how to set it up and all that. It's, it's relatively easy, but I'll go through it anyway. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want to see about the mouse, maybe some more close-up shots of it or something, or uh, maybe some actual useful uses of it, actually, I'll, I'll do that anyway. But uh, yeah, just put some comments below and let me know what you guys think. It wasn't one of my best videos. It's been a little while since I've got any videos posted. And this was just kind of a it was kind of a quick video that I did. Just because it's been so long since I've done any video that I just wanted to get something up there. And I bought this mouse. I had this before at a previous job that I was at. But mine was the first iteration. This would be the second iteration. And there were like a few little quirks here and there with the first one. This one I haven't noticed anything yet. So, but I will, 
I'll update you guys on it and um, maybe give a little more information. Like I said, I'll show the software and and how to set this up so you can get these buttons and stuff uh, tuned in to what you'd want them to do. And uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for stopping by, checking out my video, and uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. See you guys later. You ready to go, Figgles? Yeah.